Level 21, Hell's Gate. Oh, this is the actual Gate of Perdition then, right? Right? I don't know. But here we are, back in Hell again. All Doom games end in Hell somewhere sometimes. Except for when they did Doom Eternal and they went to Heaven also. That's kind of fucking cool. You know? Find yourself deep in there, fight your worst nightmares. Oh, right. We still have to do this text. Yeah, so... This has been going pretty well. You know... Get the whole... Pulse on things. See how people are reacting. You know... I hope it's not too much of a bother that I release videos and set like this. But, you know, it's uh, just... I do this for fun. HERO FOR FUN! ONE DOOM MAN! No, 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 not like that. One Doom Ward blog spot, man. I do pay attention to level reviews, actually. Or game review. Well, yeah. I, I like that blog of... What was it? The One Man Doom Ward blog spot or whatever. Because... Oh, interesting. We're in some kind of metal fortress thingy. By the way, this level is super symmetrical. Sorry to say. Yeah. Unfortunately, somehow the game feels a little easier <laughs> at this point. Just because of the level design. The enemies are, are as tough as they are. Like, I don't know if they're any tougher, but they're certainly putting up a fight. But I think the level design itself got easier. Except for knowing where the secrets are. So let me tell you how the secrets work. Just check all the pillars. Some of them have stuff. That's about it. Blue skulls. Bluey. Yellow. Oh, 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 I see. He was meant to do that when you went through there, but since it looked like I was about to go through the gate when I wasn't supposed to yet, he spawned there anyway. So I got the jump on him. His stupid one frame appearing ass. God damn. I was watching someone watch this thing, and they're like, All right, die, you 64 bitch. And I'm just like, ha ha. <laughs> like, lame-ass insults. Like, why Link doesn't talk? Because it'd be too awesome. <laughs> Actually, you know, I feel like there's a connection between silent protagonism and anti-heroes in the 90s. I, I, I wonder what the connection is. And the answer is Escape is Fantasy, actually. Yep. Nothing else to it. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah, I, I unfortunately can't really say so much as to what to do with the levels. Just go the teleports until you get to the other side of the walls so you can open the rest of the walls and go through them and get the keys and just move on. Next question. I've heard there's a there's a mod of Doom where someone makes the Seinfeld's apartment. Make Seinfeld apartment. Seinfeld's apartment. The Seinfeld and his apartment. Mr. Seinfeld and his apartment and friends. Seinfeld and friends. But yeah, uh, I was wondering if someone could do that for the room. Just make a first person shooter level that looks like the set of the room. Can someone do that? This is this is not a serious request. I just thought maybe someone would actually do it by this point in my life. But at least at this point in my life, I could say in a couple of years from now, shit's gonna get real. I'm just making a prediction. Remember when I used to do stuff like that? It's like, it is coming. It's coming. Something bad's going to happen soon. Like, I kept doing this thing where I was just like, I was trying to be a fucking like Oracle prophet. It's like, something bad is coming. Look out. Whoa! But it was really an egocentric thing where I just thought because, you know, life sucked for me that it was going to end up sucking for everyone else, which is only half true. Life just sucks generally. It has nothing to do with me or my involvement. Dun dun dun. Yellow key. I hear the sound of an art file, possibly. Yeah. 
It's the it's the daily arch file. You know, I have the daily world world. This is the daily arch file. You have five chances to get past them, and then show all your friends how you fucked up on the daily thing. It's like, I'm sorry. I like word games. I don't care for daily word games, because why would I only want to do a word game for a minute and then be done? No, dude. I'm going to do a bunch of word games in like an hour. Then I'll be done. But I understand it's just so everyone can synchronize how they answer, but it's just like... I mean... Okay. Eh. Also, of course New York Times takes the wordles because, well, I mean... They took the crosswords, so why wouldn't they take this? Yeah, I actually... I knew a relative who was old enough. Basically, she was, like, approaching 100. Or she was uh, in her hundreds. But basically, she was old enough that she was probably around when crosswords were invented. <laughs> I just thought that was cool. So, which might explain all the crossword books in my grandmother's house. Or, yeah. Because, you know, took after and had... Also, an enjoyment of that. Like 30 years later, it's like, okay, it's pretty good. And word searches and stuff. And uh, for a while, I liked them too. And I technically still do. I still, I still enjoy a crossword. It's just now, I now I see that you know you don't you got to be a little picky about your crosswords. You can't just do one to have words in them. To me, the whole fun of the crossword is trying to guess the hints, not the actual linguistic part of it. So it's really more of a trivia thing than a spelling thing. But you should know the spelling. That's why we have these crossword dictionaries that are just common trivia answers to things. And it's just yeah. So I'm not into I'm not into doing trivia, or at least in a single player sense. I actually did try Apogee's trivia stuff for Star Trek or whatever. And uh, yeah, once you know the answers, you just know the answers and that's it, you're done. There's some good questions in there though. Because even though I'd watched the original series and Next Gen, there were some questions I didn't quite know the answer to, because it was really obscure shit. So, kudos, I guess? Kudos to you and your super charge in the iron gates of the law in the eyes of the men and the rockets. Just making sure we got all the thingies. This is where the secrets is. I guess the corners wouldn't have stuff in them. Whether this would have helped me do the level easier, I don't know, but there you go. I know it's certainly pointless to have a berserk at the end when your health is already 200. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, though, I can't always have perfect health when I go to the next level, so I just kind of have to take a grain of salt with me. But that also contributes to why I do these sets all at once, because, you know, if I fuck up somewhere early on, and I have to redo a level because it would make the next level easier. Things like that can happen, and I don't want to talk about it too early without having actually beaten the game first. So, that's my secret to you from a post-game analysis. Avenge the races that the Hellspawn destroyed. Avengers! I mean, Doom Avengers! Doom Symbol! Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 